Let, let me let me create a poll real quick. Let me let me see something. I want to see something. It, it's gonna it's gonna show and prove to me two things. One of two things, and I'm not even gonna disclose what that is yet until I create this poll. Y'all like the video? Share the video and subscribe. Okay. Give me a second. Are you a black man that is still willing to work with American black women? This is going to show me a few things based upon this uh, poll. Right now we're neck and neck. We have 66 votes. 45% says yes. 55% says no. Wow. Wow. It's important for me to ask this. This is this is this is very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. I gotta be honest, I was not expecting it to be neck and neck. But it, this, again, tells me one of two things. This post is going to tell me that a lot of us have pushed black men away to a point of no return. Or it was going to show how dedicated and loyal black men are to us. I'm going to allow this poll to go until 1135 my time. Right now, it is 11.30 a.m. my time. So I'm going to give it five more minutes, and then we're going to see what the end results are. See, if this poll ends up saying that the majority of black men are done, that's going to speak volumes to how badly we have fucked up and pushed them away. If this poll ends up saying that they are still ready and willing to work with American black women, that's going to really shine a light on how dope black men are and how much they really do love us. And how maybe we just don't deserve that shit. We don't deserve their dopeness. We don't deserve their loyalty. Like, this is going to speak volumes. And a lot of it is going to reflect upon us black women. Wow. 55% of black men say so far that they are still willing to work with american black women do you do you guys have no idea what that is saying this is speaking volumes damn black men y'all are loyal as fuck i'm not gonna lie to you y'all are loyal this says a lot about black women, though. This this says a lot. I told you I was going to say one or two things. It was either going to say how bad we have fucked up or how fucked up we really are for treating the men who have yet to give, a, give up on us in the ways that we do. We trash y'all day in and day out. And you mean to tell me y'all still got hope? Damn. How dare us? We should be ashamed, black women. We should be ashamed. This is crazy. I was not expecting it to be neck and neck like this. And I definitely, I don't think I was I was ready to see that it would it would be more yeses. We have 222 votes. And I ask. Are you a black man that is still willing to work with American black women? The final conclusion is this. 55% of black men 
say that they are still ready and willing to work with American black women. While 44% say no. Now, while this is neck and neck, it still speaks volumes. Okay? It still speaks volumes. Shu says only about 40% voted. Even still, it speaks volumes. As black women, we should we should feel absolutely pathetic. First of all, it's still neck and neck. So it's still a problem. Right? Either way, it's a problem. 44%, almost half, said that they are done with us. Due to the poor treatment, the disrespect, the neglect, the unwillingness to learn, grow, evolve, do better, become better. 40, almost half are done. So that's still an issue. That's still a problem. Because that number could very well grow. Now, we also have a little bit of hope, though, right? Because half, a little more than half, also said that they are ready and willing to continue to work with us. But here's the catch to that. Here's the catch to that. How many of them will continue to be screwed over until they are pushed to the other side? That is where I feel that my platform and what we do over here comes into place because I would hate for a a good chunk, over half of my black brothers to be like, no, I'm still here for y'all. I'm still ready and willing to fight for you. I still got hope in you. I still want you. I still love you. I still feel like I need you. I would hate for them to get to a point to where they're also done and they also feel like you're a waste of time because here's the thing you guys a lot of those black men that voted no they were once on the side of yes but because maybe they never got the result, the desired results they were looking for, or the women never, you know, took responsibility or accountability or wanted to show and prove. They said, fuck it. I want to know how many of the men that said no actually tried multiple times. That's my issue with that. Because even though majority said yes, it's still neck and neck, which means it could still go either way. And those people who said yes, I just hope it's worth it for you. I just really hope that it's worth it for you. Because I would hate for you to cross over to the side of no. Because I know a lot of the black men who voted no were once on the side of yes. And and it just was, it was in vain.
And let me say this as well. And then I'm going to just go ahead and wrap this up because, you know, I got stuff to do around my house and I also got to prepare for our live stream later on. Let me go ahead and say this, you guys. All of my brothers. Dang. There again says he tried until he was 40. Lord have mercy. I want to say this. A lot of my brothers that say yes, while I'm happy that you said yes, and I'm grateful that you have said yes, because again, I am all for black men and black women coming together in America. You know, I would like to see more of that around me. You know, I would love to have that around me more. So while I'm relieved that you guys said yes, I don't want you guys to get into a position to where you're stuck. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, although I'm happy and grateful that you guys are not giving up, don't be stupid. You know? Don't be stupid. Because there are black women all over the world. So don't limit yourself beating a dead horse. Now, I I, ho- I hope, it is in my, my deepest wishes and hopes that we can get a lot more or a majority of the black women that are maybe not on the right track to go the right way and do the right things and do what they need to do. So hopefully your work and your patience and your fighting is not in vain. But if you're not seeing any desired results that you're looking for, if you're not getting anywhere, if you feel like you're putting in a lot more than what you're really getting out and it's really not worth it, Don't be afraid to explore different options or being alone. I don't want you guys to be stupid. Let me put it like this. I don't want you guys to be stupid saviors. To where you're rushing into burning buildings. Trying to save individuals. Or or save buildings that wanted to be on fire. And that wanted to kill you in the process. I started this fire so I can kill you and me. I don't want you guys to do that. It's a lot of females that are self-destructing. And because they feel like all oh, hope is lost for them or their lives didn't turn out the way that they wanted to, everything that they touch, they destroy. So I want you guys to be mindful and be smart. Move wisely. Move strategically. Do not let it be an instance to where you're doing everything just to get a little bit. You know what I'm saying? S. De Leon, D. Music. Oh, I like that. I like that shoe. It says Captain Save a Hopeless. I don't want you guys to be Captain Save a Hopeless. That's a whole bar shoe. So just be smart, be wise. I love, I love how resilient black men are. I love how. Um, how much you guys are willing to fight for your people and, and fight for what you believe in and, and stand 10 toes down, even when it doesn't look right, even when it doesn't look like it's going to come out the way that you want it. I love the amount of faith that you guys have, the, the amount of hope that you guys have. I love all of that, but please don't be stupid. Because to be honest, when it comes to a lot of these females, 
You can do all of this saving, all of this rushing to put out fires that they started for them damn selves on purpose. And they still don't appreciate it. And while we're trying to get them into a position to where they do appreciate it and want to reciprocate it, if you're in the middle of it and it's not going where you want it to go and you don't see any progression, you don't see any light at the end of the tunnel and you feel like you put in and, and invest in a lot more than what you're getting out, if nothing at all, if anything at all, don't be afraid to walk away. Stop being Captain Save a Hopeless.